San Remo Bakery and Cafe. They loaded me up and we got the footage in there. And again, if you want like a microcosm, uh, I gotta put the, I, I gotta put all the pastries down because I feel like I'm gonna have muscles. I'm gonna be like Popeye coming out of my left arm. Um, but a microcosm of the world, Blog TO, scumbags, we all know that. That uh, this is one of the places where they like basically called him out of the blue, like, hey, we saw that you want Dave to come. You know he's an asshole. He does this, that, this, and just tried to frame me, look like a, a fucking jerk. Put the poor girl on the phone, who's just like, oh well, that doesn't sound like a good guy. We're a family place. I met the owner. He owns it with his two brothers. He's like, we love you. They put us on the spot. I, I'm sorry about that. Like, we want you here. He loaded me up with all the stuff. It's an amazing place. All right, we're in San Remo, right? That's the name of it. San Remo. This is another one of the blog TO places, which are like, oh, they don't want you. The owner came up. He apologized. Of course, we want you. They put us on the spot to you. Blog TO scumbags. By the way, you're seeing how the world works with all this shit, but this place is amazing. This is the owner with his three brothers. You guys feel free to do whatever you guys want to film anywhere, go anywhere. If you guys want to turn it back anywhere you want. Awesome, yeah. So, so the floor is yours, guys. It, it, it's an amazing spot. So we offered some, uh, I don't know what to get for pastries. It looks so good. Which one would you, I don't, I don't know what, what should we get? These are, oh. Man, I was like looking at picking out one. Now we're, it's we're gonna be so fat when this thing's done. Put, put a couple of the lobster tails in a box for him. Just try the lemon and this fellow. The lobster tail. Fun fun fact: My dad went to the bakery uh, Modern, I believe, in uh, in Boston. Got a lobster tail, <laughs> opened it, and was looking for the lobster. What do you think? I think the lobster escaped from this thing. Yeah. I just want to leave lobsters. But this lobster escaped. Do you know how stupid you have to be? You have to be <laughs> internationally stupid to order one of these. It, it literally at a bakery that looked like this. Open it and say there's no lobster in it. My dad did that. <laughs> uh, that's historically stupid stuff. Historically stupid. Cool. Yep, yep, yeah. Nice meeting you. Thanks. He was super nice. He's like, fuck Blog TO, basically. And it just shows how the media twists it. And if you haven't seen the clip, the Blog TO editor actually came on my podcast. We'll put this clip in. And, and she owned it. She's like, well, guess what? If we said um, philanthropist, handsome, great looking guy with this huge dick is coming into Toronto, nobody cares. They don't click on nice things. We're just trying to get clicks. So we say bad things about you. Eight clicks sell, rage clicks sell. You know, people want to read stuff about controversy. So if we put controversial, you know, American pizza guy is in the headline, that is going to get a lot more attention than like, you know, really nice dude who does all of this great stuff is coming to Toronto. Like, you know how it is. Credit to her. The first person who's ever admitted when you see bad press on me, that's what they're doing. They're all doing it. They're all doing it. Business Insider, they're too far gone to admit it. That's what they do. I move page views. So if you say bad things about me, you get to keep the lights on. Blog TO, shame on you. This is real life. This is real business. I almost didn't come here because of you scumbags. Um, since 1969, honestly, place is amazing. They had sandwiches that looked so fucking big. Like the sandwiches, which I got footage of over there. They're this big. They're the size of, honestly, Connie Balls' entire body. That's how big they are, and they squish them down, um, and they're still half of balls. But here's the pizza. I don't know how the pizza will be. Ooh. That's a thick, heavy-looking mozza pizza. Portnoy? Portnoy? As they drive by. One bite ever knows the rules. It is thick, and you can tell it's a bakery pizza. Bakery pizzas always have that bread that you can kind of tell is made in a bakery. You know why? Because in a bakery, they make bread. Facts. The man just spits them. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Somebody shrunk this army jacket. Doughy. CEO of Barstool Sports. Somebody's giving another history lesson. I'm not really the CEO, though. You can tell a bakery. Yes, yeah, bud. They love me in this city. You can always tell bakery pizza a mile away. 
super like doughy. It's like a, a, the crust is like a, a fresh dinner roll. Like you eat Bertucci's, shout out New England, you know a Bertucci's dinner roll? Hot, warm, really good. It's like that on a pizza. Totally different than anything that we've eaten so far in Toronto, and it's really, really good. It is heavy, it is brevity, it is doughy, but I actually really like it. The crust is so good. Not my typical style. Good undercarriage. I don't know. The bread is so freaking good. It's it, Again, I keep repeating, it's heavier than what I usually like, but the bread is so good it makes up for it. Two slices though and you're out. I'm gonna go. Seven, eight. I really like this, and this that is you know that is a pretty big score for a type of pizza I don't like. But the dough and the bread is so freaking good. I it's a seven eight, maybe seven nine. Um, San Remo Bakery. There you go. Since 1969 tradition. Uh, that's our review. And, and by the way, shame on you, Blog Teal. This is a pizza you have to have. It is something worth trying and driving to because it's so different with the bread. But um, again, let me repeat this loudly, clear. Shame on you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finger wave at you. Shame on T.O. Shame on you, Blog T.O., what you did here. Shame on you. I hope you can look yourself in the mirror. Shame on you. No, I'm good, thanks. The Greek says hi. The Greek. The Greek. Oh, <laughs> Bill? Your Uber driver yesterday. Bill, Bill. <laughs> yeah. This guy's ever, I'm surprised he's not here. Yeah, I got, I got the Greek on the phone. He's, he says, get, he said, get Ethan a job for him. <laughs> Hello, Bill? How do you know everybody? It's your favorite crazy Greek place. How are you doing today, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Beautiful day today, buddy. Where are you going, to Ukraine? No, I'm in San Remo. What are you doing? Well, I'm surprised you're not here. No, things to do, but people are everywhere. I'm, I'm everywhere. I know. I t two different guys just came up to me and said the Greek says hello. He's an OG. Yeah, he's everywhere. Yeah. He's <laughs> okay. Well, I'm a little nervous. It's good. It's good. This Ethan joke's gone a little too far. All right. Have a good time. Enjoy the rest of the time. And uh, when you're going to the game, you going to the game? I'm going. I'm not going to the Blue Jays. I'm going to the Raptors. Good okay. Choice. I was gonna tell you, you gotta see Gus the hot dog stand on the bridge. He's the best Greek guy in the city. Okay. Got the hot dog stand on the bridge. Yeah. No, I don't think you caught the part that I said I was not going to the game, so I can't see yeah, Gus yeah. the hot dog guy on the yeah. bridge. Wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> He'll give you a hot dog anytime. Okay, Dave. Have a good one, buddy. Uh, all right. Bye, Bill.